In this video, we're going to talk about how to index structures using the dot operator. So indexing structures using the dot operator is very similar to how we use the dot operator to create structures. However, now it's kind of it's kind of in reverse. So the syntax for it would be if you have some sort of variable, then you would say the name of the structure and the dot and the field name that you want to access. Okay, so it's very similar. So you're taking, so you're accessing the structure at a certain field name and then saving that value in sort into some variable. So for instance, let's say I had st is struct. Maybe I'll create a new structure so it's not the same as all the other videos. Um, let's say, let's say it was still name, just cause. But let's say my name was Serena. Serena. And let's say I had another structure or another field name called sport. And let's say my sport was tennis. Okay. And so now if I wanted to figure out what sport does this person play and save that inside of some variable, I can say, um, let's create a variable called uh, sport or my sport. Let's just call it my sport. We can say the structure, which is st dot sport. So in this case here, we would have my sport be the string tennis. And it's just that easy, using the dot operator, similar to how we use it to create a structure, but now to index it to actually get values out of the structure at a certain field name. And so the same rules apply when we talked about using a variable in order to access, or in order to create a structure, the same thing applies with using a variable in order to access certain parts. So let's say, for instance, I had a variable that contained the string name. If I tried to say, let's say my name is st.var, I would get an error because the field name var does not exist. So this produces an error. Field name var doesn't exist. I want to tell MATLAB that, hey, this is actually a variable that contains a field name. So therefore, I would have to say my name is st parentheses var. So this is fine. And then so therefore, my name in this case would be Serena. And that's it.